what's up, y'all? Alright, so this is a serious one. I got a question from titled Magnesite in Need of Wisdom. And I will give to you what I can, brother. Um, his question um, is a serious one. Listen to this, y'all. He said that he was married for eight years. And tragically, his wife committed suicide. He said that he's been single for four years now, and I guess he's been trying to get back into the dating scene. And he said that every single woman that he gets with, when he eventually tells them about his past relationship, what happened, seems to be the kiss of death for him in that relationship. He says all of a sudden they, they stop uh, returning his phone calls, they stop the texts. All of a sudden they don't have any time for him. And, you know, it seems like being a widower is just, you know, fucking everything up for him. So he basically wants to know how to fix this. You know, so here's the thing. The easiest answer for me to tell you, of course, is to tell you don't tell them. I mean, I personally, maybe I wouldn't tell them until they were totally in for the long haul, in love with you, okay? But some women may not like that. They may not like the fact that you kept that from them. I think theoretically it's something that you could do and still and have a happy relationship with another woman. Like you could not tell them ever. You know what I mean? They have to find out by going to the library and searching through newspaper clippings and like in the movies and shit, like forty five years later and find out. You know, like a mystery movie. I think you could be okay with that. But for those that are kinda like, nah, you should be totally truthful, you could be that, but you could say she died. You know, um, I don't know how she took her life. Um, but if she says she died, a lot of times people ask, how did she die? Then you might have to tell them. Um, there, and I, went, I was thinking a lot about this, man, before I made the video. They may also think that either you're damaged goods, which I'm sure is probably the number one reason. They think that you're damaged goods. <laughs> and you possibly are to a certain extent. But from the way you wrote your letter to me, I think that you're doing good. Now, I think that you're stable now, at least, you know? You don't seem like a nut job to me, okay? Um, I think they think that you're damaged goods and they all of a sudden are saying they don't want to deal with damaged goods. I understand. I mean, there's situations in different relationships where, you know, like, even with me, I've been in certain relationships where I'm like, you know, this girl's fucking damaged. I don't know if I want to deal with her, you know. So I understand where the girls are coming from, but another thing they could think is that maybe you caused it, or maybe it scared them. You know, like, what about the marriage you made her want to kill herself? Is this motherfucker crazy? Did he do something to her? Did he treat her a certain way? You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, this is this is a tough one because you gotta kind of dance around it, tiptoe around it, walk on eggshells for a certain amount of time, man. You know, the problem is, first of all, I could be, try to be politically, politically correct as possible and not want to mess with anybody's feelings or views. But this is my, my motherfucking channel. So I'm gonna tell you what I would do. I personally wouldn't tell them straight up seriously in the next in the last four years if you've seen if you've gone out with maybe three or four girls maybe more in every time that's the kiss to death fuck it i wouldn't tell them you know i mean now you you, you could go through the process of elimination and just keep dating and dating and dating and dating and dating and telling everyone until there's one that sticks until she's just she's like it's okay you know things happen you know and and and, and that woman's probably definitely out there but some people are, I, I guess, maybe shallow or they don't think things through so thoroughly. You know what I mean? To the point where they're like, okay, maybe it wasn't him. Maybe he isn't damaged. Maybe she was troubled. And that's the reason why she took her life. Maybe it had nothing to fucking do with him. You got what I'm saying? So I would, I, for, and first of all, I don't know how soon you're telling people, okay? If I was you, I'd just let them know that, you know, um, I don't want you to lie, but I just don't know how to 
you know, usually people don't pull away later on in the relationship. If you have been seeing these women for a while, a year or so, six months even so, you know, you've been out, they've seen who you are, you've had sex, you've had a chance to connect and all that stuff, and they're totally in you, dropping a bomb like that is is easier then because they're 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 invested in you. And you don't know, they're like, Oh my like, why didn't you tell me it's because I didn't want you to think that I was damaged goods. Four other women left me before you. You know, they they, they, they looked at me like I was just, you know, some nutcase or like I caused it and I didn't. You have to understand my wife was troubled and she took her own life and I, it was a surprise to me. You don't understand. We talked about everything. She hid this from me. You know what I mean? You got to come at them in a way that lets them know that you're sincere, you're not crazy, and that it wasn't your fault. Now, the flip side is, if it was your fault, eh, that's an issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know you. Maybe you, you, you perceive, you know, like you, the way you type shit and write shit and talk makes you seem like you're totally straight, you know? You know, there's a lot of guys out there, a lot of serial killers and, you know, so forth that seem like normal guys in public. Total psychopaths. So, but I don't think you're the latter. I think you're, you know, what I talked about before. I think you're straight. So I hope this helped you out, man. And uh, just take things slow with the women. And don't tell them that so uh, upfront. Just let them know that, uh, you know, you're separated or you're not with her anymore or she left you. Say that. You, she, you know what I mean? Like, that's a way to kind of sugarcoat leaving you until you want to drop the bomb. You know what I mean? She left me. And I haven't seen her since. <gasps> you know. Oh my God. You know. And you know. Let a become, woman become invested in you. And then if you want to. Eventually tell her. So listen. Remember when I told you she left me? Well. She left me in a particular way. And I didn't want to tell you. Yada yada yada. Because. Alright. Don't want the video to go too long. Hope this has helped. Like I said. And uh, if you got any more questions. Inbox me. Talk to you later.